Aquarius. My wonderful Aquarius people, hello. How are you guys doing, Aquarius? My wonderful people. I've always felt like I had a special connection with Aquarius because I grew up with two cousins who were basically like my brother and sister because not we didn't have siblings and we only had each other. And they're both Aquarius. Um, my younger cousin, Rachel, who is, she is January 27th, Aquarius. <laughs> so I got the taste of both. And then my older cousin, JC, he is February 11th, Aquarius. So I know Aquarius very well. I grew up with two of them. <laughs> like I said, like my brothers and sisters. So I always felt a connection with an Aquarius. I was also in a very serious relationship with an Aquarius for two years. Um, he was an asshole, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to judge him off of every single Aquarius. You can't do that. You know what I mean? Anyway, Aquarius, I just wanted to tell you that or whatever. But let's start your love reading. You guys came in third place um, as far as the most views for the signs. So I just want to say thank you for that. I really appreciate that. And I like, really, um, really appreciate the love. You know what I mean? Because that's really why I do it. I only do it to support you guys, to help you guys and give you guys some type of guidance. Because it's the same guidance that I needed, you know, and wish somebody would have given me. Okay? So, let's start your reading. So, I'm going to start with, um, hmm, do I want to use this or that? Something tell me to use the Gilded Tarot. I'm going to use the Gilded Tarot as the foundation. And then I'll clarify with the Witch. Modern Witch Tarot deck. All right, let's see what's going on in the love life of Aquarius, okay? Remember, this reading is not going to resonate with every single Aquarius person in the world. <laughs> that would be weird if you all were going through the same love situation. So it's not. Spirit speaks to certain readers and gives certain readers specific messages for specific people. So if the message doesn't resonate with you, that doesn't mean that the person is not a good tower reader or they're fake or they don't know what they're doing. That just means that simply the message from spirit within them is not for you. But there is a message for you out there somewhere. It's just not through that specific reader. Okay? Just always remember to spread positivity and be loving and spread joy. Okay? We want to motivate each other. We want to encourage one another. We don't want to try to make people feel bad about themselves. Okay? So what's going on with the love life of Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius, people? Ooh, two things came out. Ooh, feeling victorious. Okay, Aquarius, you feeling like you you won. You came out the winner, the victor. Success, public recognition. You feel like, ha ha, I'm up in this bitch. Page of Cups though, why? Why? Why are you being immature about love? Why? why? If you got all this success and you all happy, you got public recognition, you got people hanging from your dick, you got all this you want. That even can mean some fame. You got you a little bit famous. You might have a social media thing going on. You might be shining bright. Everybody see you with your likes. You getting it popping. You know what I mean? But you missing something. Because you got the page of cups in reverse. So this means either you're feeling like you're missing out. You're missing something with, to do with love. Or this could be somebody who was thinking about coming in to give you an offer of love. I mean, some type of message of love. Um... Seven of Cups. So you're trying to think about something. You're confused. You got some options going on up in here. And yeah, Seven of Cups is like you got a lot of things coming at you. A lot of decisions. Um, but you don't know which way to go. Could mean like fate. Could mean like illusions. Could be a lot of the thing, offers that are coming into you we don't really trust. But the page of cups in reverse can mean a lot of different things. It can mean childhood issues, um, bad news coming in. Um, it could mean, you know, uh, triggering your inner child. You know, that's why I said, what are you being immature about in love? Um, it could mean um, childhood abuse, broken dreams, vanity. Maybe you're being vain about this public success possibility doesn't mean that that's true um this also means broken proposals so maybe you're feeling victorious about something that you broke off with somebody could mean okay it also means obsession 
um, could mean obsession, envy, vulnerability, sexually active. Um, so maybe you are out here living really good Aquarius. <laughs> it means like promiscuous, seduce. Um, and this, I'm sorry, I said inner child, but in reverse, it's like you're ignoring your inner child. So it can mean a lot of different things um, for you there, Aquarius. I'm not sure which one you feel that that <laughs> falls in for you. But when I see that page of cup, that's you. I don't think that's anybody else. That's, that's definitely you. I'm feeling that that's you. That's not your person or whoever you're thinking about. And then the seven of cups is like, you have a lot of options. You may have a lot of people. You fucking a lot of people or you not fucking a lot of people. It's, it, you know, but it's like you get a lot of opportunities. You get, it's a lot of possibilities. People coming at you. You know what I mean? But you got to be careful. You know what I mean? Let's see what else we got. Very interesting. Very interesting. What else we got for Aquarius, please? What else we got for Aquarius's love life? If you got yeah, Aquarius, get it how you get it. I mean, if you want to have sex and do your thing, do your thing. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Live your life. Just be careful. Don't be hurting nobody. That's all. Don't, don't break no hearts while you're doing it. But make sure you, you having sex carefully. Meaning, protecting yourself, of course, but also with people's feelings. Make your intentions clear. Because I know how something on Aquarius can get. Make your intentions clear if you want to. But y'all are pretty clear, though, from what I remember. King of Cups and Five of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay. So there is some King of Cups who feels that you're rejecting their love and that you've kicked them out in the cold. King of Cups, this could be a water sign. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio that you're dealing with. But this person feels like you kicked them out. You got them. Oh, wait. They're coming out from this is reverse so you might be letting them back in they're coming out from being left out in the cold but they reverse why are they holding back their love hmm yeah why are they holding back their love because the king of cups and king of cups upright is like you know the king is coming forth he's mature but if it's reverse that's like hmm that's like emotional immature, an emotionally immature male. Okay. Um, or yeah, overly emotional male, anxious, uncaring, gullible. Uh, could mean depressed, repressed, withdrawn, unbalanced. Could be controlling. Could be a cheater. Could be a con man. Could be violent. Could be somebody you're having an affair with. It could mean a lot of things with the King of Cups in reverse. But it could just mean that this person is emotionally overly emotional and if you page of cups you just like huh. hey hey i'm living my life so let's see what else we got could be a water sign you're dealing with though cancer uh pisces or, or scorpio yeah but that person feels like they're coming out from being left out in the cold maybe you gave them the cold shoulder ten of pentacles okay that's money that's big, 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 big money. Big, 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 big money. Big jackpot money. Big, 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 big money. Let's see what else we got for Aquarius. Damn, y'all got it going. Y'all got the fucking public recognition call. Y'all got y'all fame. Y'all got y'all money. Y'all got respect. What the fuck else y'all need up in this bitch? Okay, we got some interesting cards here. So the Knight of Cups is now coming in upright. Okay. Which means somebody is coming in to offer you, I think it's that same water sign, <laughs> the Cancer, Pisces, or the Scorpio, is coming in to give you their cup of love. He's like, the Knight of Cups is like the Romeo. He's Mr. Romeo of the, of the Tarot, okay? So Mr. Romeo is coming in to confess his love to you. Page of Swords. This is a message that's coming in as being the lead. And this person could also be watching you, Okay. And then also Ace of Pentacles. This is beautiful. They want a new beginning with you. A new beginning with a lot of money. A lot of stability. A lot of stability. One more card for uh, Taurus, please. Taurus is love. I mean, sorry. For Aquarius. I just did Taurus. I'm sorry about that. For the Aquarius, please. Can we have one more card for the Aquarius love reading? Oh, wait, that was too many. Let's do this again. Spirit says shuffle the deck one more time. All right. Now, 
for Aquarius, please. Can we have one more card for the love life of Aquarius, please? One more card for the love life of Aquarius, please. One more card for the love life of Aquarius, please. Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius's love life? Come on, make this last one a good one. Make this last one the boo bow. Come on, show us. Show us, spirits. What's going on with Aquarius? Your love life. What's up with this new beginning that's coming in? With a lot of money, I see. With this person of a water sign. One, two, three, four, five. The lovers reverse. You feel like there's a disconnect, though. You feel like there's a disconnect. But I think that's you. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. Oh, this is love. This is love. This is love, Aquarius. This is love. This is love. You're ready to release this burden. This person's been holding back. Okay, they're the King of Pentacles in reverse because you broke it off. Okay, the relationship ended or there was a transformation and it's, it was over. But now the person wants to come in as the King of Wands. They want to come in fiery, passionate, and they've been watching you. Okay, they don't care about the past and they want to come in and offer you, you know, they want to send you a message. The page is all about messages. So they want to come in and give you a message of stability. There's, there's all so many Pentacles in this reading. This person has a lot of money. I sense a lot of money with you and this person. Just money, money everywhere, pentacles, coins. Okay, they want to come in and offer you. They're coming in as a page, so they they may be a little bit younger than you, possibly. Or they may be um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, five of swords in reverse. Yeah, they just, they don't, they don't want to fight no more. Like, and they don't want to walk away. And then they want a new beginning. They want a new beginning. Look at this. But there's no movement. There's no movement. You don't know which way to go. You're the chariot in reverse. You don't know which way to go. But this person sees you as their soulmate. You got the four of wands. This is a soulmate card. This is the soulmate card. This is a, a union. You got this with the lovers in reverse. Even though the lovers is in reverse, that's still the lovers card is still present in this reading. All right, let's clarify some of these bad boys and see what the hell is going on. All right. Deep right there. This person is watching you. Spirit just told me that, and the page of swords just flew out. They watch you a lot. Page of swords flew out on the other page of swords when I was just shuffling. So that's confirmation that they're coming in. They're going to send you a message, but it's going to be a bit delayed. Page of swords can mean um, a delayed message coming in. It could mean bad news, but I'm not sensing that with this person. Not not being next to the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. That's like, I love you. Like, I truly, genuinely love you. You know, and I truly, genuinely want to give you me. All right? Why is the Six of Wands here for Aquarius? Why is the Six of Wands here for Aquarius? Please, Spirit. Why is the Six of Wands? Okay. Because you have all this public success. You've got all this recognition. You got, you feel like you got the victory. You got a lot of stuff victorious in your life. You may have your money. You know, you may have your career and all that. You feel victorious in that area of your life, but not in your love life. In your love life, you are all in your motherfucking head. But you might be coming out of that. Because it's in reverse. Okay? That's what that could mean to me. With the Eight of Swords in reverse. Because Eight of Swords upright is like you were all in your head about it. You were going crazy. You didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? But then the Eight of Swords of Eight of Swords in reverse is like freedom and escape. You feel me? That's like you escape, you're free now. Cards keep moving. <laughs> it's like you escape, you're free now. Um, finding solutions. Um, you took control of your love life. You know what I mean? You took control of your life. You know what I mean? That's why you felt victorious. You know what I mean? You stood, it could mean standing up to abuse. It could mean facing fears. It could mean that you're a survivor. You know what I mean? You feel like a survivor in this situation. Maybe some crazy shit that went down. You know what I mean? But that's what that means, you know? And survivor with the, you know, six of wands, the, you know, victory card. That's deep. Facing fears, empowered, healing, strength, 
severe depression in the punishment you know what i mean so it could be like you know you really went through something when this person whatever happened with this person why is the page of cups here for aquarius why is the page of cups here for aquarius why is the page of cups here for aquarius why is the page of cups here for aquarius okay i'll take them Ooh. Okay, you got the Ten of Swords. And, uh, no, you got the Ten of Swords upright. So this... The reason why you acting like that, like the way you are kind of like about love and the reason why you may be sleeping around, not necessarily, or you may not be, um, could be that you were hurt. You were really hurt. You were really hurt and somebody really did you wrong. Somebody did some injustice to you because you got the Justice card in reverse. And the same person tried to come in and, and give you a message and, and, and try to offer you stability. And it's like, uh, no. <laughs> no. After you were injustice to me and you stuck ten swords in my back, do I look stupid? Why is the seven of cups here for Aquarius? Why is the seven of cups here for Aquarius? Because the five of cups. Because you're thinking about walking away from that person. Even though but the thing about the five of cups is that you still got the two cups of love back here. And you're looking. Look at the girl. She's looking back like, um, you're not sure about leaving this person. Let's get this king of cups in reverse. Why is this king of cups in reverse here? Okay, I'll take them. Oh. Whew, good cards. Whew, good cards, Aquarius. So, two of pentacles in reverse. The king of cups is cutting off his love or he held back his love because he felt like you didn't know what you wanted to do. You were imbalanced or he felt or he or she felt like they didn't know what to do. They felt unbalanced in the situation. You know what I mean? Because they could feel your energy and that you were pulling away from them, you know? And then also they felt bad for what they did to you because the five of cups is like, regret sadness you know this person whatever they did i think they felt bad about it you know and then you got the ace of cups so this person does love you even though they're holding back their love this is the ultimate love card this is like the love card okay pure genuine love you got it upright so this person this king of cups loves you they're holding back their love right now but they do want to take a leap of faith over with you. They do want to come back in and offer you a new beginning if you're willing to take it. And possibly, Aquarius, marriage. Marriage. This person feels a very spiritual connection with you. Okay? The Hierophant, that's marriage, sweetie. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Why is it here? Why is it here? Ooh, because this person wants to offer you an apology for being deceptive. They did something wicked to you, Aquarius. They did something wicked and they want to come in and they want to offer you an apology. They want to offer you an apology and they want to offer you marriage. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Aquarius? The Seven of Cups? Hmm. The Ten of Pentacles. Now, why in the hell could you be trying to make a decision about money? <laughs> what in the hell are you trying to make a decision about money for? If you unsure about that money, you can definitely hit me up, honey. <laughs> because this is like trying to make a decision about money. Um, yeah, it's like because the Ten of Pentacles is like unexpected financial windfall. This is like a bonus. This is like I said, this is a jackpot card. You know what I mean? This is like a lump sum, uh, will deeds, inheritance, family inheritance issues, old money, business empire. This is big money. This ain't no like, oh yeah, you uh, yeah, <laughs> you hit other numbers and you got $500, bone jackpot. No, this is like some serious bread, Aquarius. Okay? This is long-term financial security. This is marrying into money. Ooh. So I think that that may be what it is. You're trying to decide which, if you want to be. I told you this person got money. I told you that from the jump. I could tell with all the motherfucking pinnacles. Maybe you're trying to decide, like, 
should I be with this person? Even You know what I mean? Because you don't really, I mean, you care about the money, but it's not, you want love. You know what I mean? The hermit. Okay, so yeah, this knight of cups, he wants to come in because he's had this person, he or she, they've had a spiritual transformation. After what they did to you, they went into hermit mode. They weren't dealing with nobody. They weren't dealing with nobody after what they did to you. They felt bad. They had that, like, they needed a spiritual transformation. And that's what they went through. Because of what they did to you. Yep. Just because of what they did to you, Aquarius. That's the truth. That's the truth. I felt that deep when I just said that. Yeah, they went into hermit mode. It fucked them up. And good. 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 Because they did something deceptive to you. It was injustice. Could have went to court, possibly. You know what I mean? So, no. You're not going to just walk back up in here and think, you know what I mean? Because you got all this motherfucking bread. A nigga supposed to be like, oh, no. Aquarius don't do that. Y'all will go without if it's fake. You know what I mean? Y'all y'all ain't with that fake shit. Okay? But, yeah, this person this person went through a spiritual enlightenment. Like, they did, they were doing soul searching, reflection. Because of what the, fuck, what the fuck they did to you. They want to come in and apologize. Seven of Swords reverse. That's an apology card. Yeah, they had a spiritual transformation. They contemplated introspection, self-reflection. You know what I mean? Solitude. They stayed to themselves after this. Felt horrible. Why is the Page of Swords here? Why is the Page of Swords here? I already know it's because they're watching your ass. Why is the Page of Swords here for Aquarius, please? Oh, my God. I don't think I'm taking all of those. Too many fell. Let's try this again. Spirit says shuffle the deck. Okay. Why is the page of swords here? Why is the page of swords here for Aquarius? Why is the page of swords here for Aquarius? That flipped away. Oh, they're broken hearted, but they're getting over it. They're getting over it, but they feel like you really broke their heart. That's why they're watching you from afar. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Oh yeah, they want to re they want to reunite with you. This is the reunion card. They want to come together. They want like they want to have like a party or something and have you there and yeah, they want to have like a reunion with you. Wow, beautiful. And what I want to know is why is this Lovers card here in reverse? I know it's the disconnect because y'all not talking. Eight of Pentacles in reverse because nobody's working on it. Nobody ain't doing a goddamn thing. Nobody's working on the connection. Can we have another card, please? Nobody's working on this new beginning. Nobody's working on this Knight of Cups wants to come in. And judgment. Ooh, that's a reconciliation card right there. Judgment, whatever they did to you. They know it was wrong. They know it was wrong. You got Ace of Pentacles twice. This person has a lot of money. Whoa. You got Ace of Pentacles twice from two different tarot decks. That's a new beginning with stability, with money, with trust, with love. Damn, that's beautiful, Aquarius. That's fucking beautiful. You got Knight of Cups twice. I mean, this is the Romeo of the tarot deck. This person wants to come in and... Juliet, Juliet, where art thou, Juliet? Oh my God, take all my money, Juliet. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take, it. take my heart, Juliet. Take my heart, Juliet. I was so wrong to you, Juliet. And now I've received my karma, Juliet. And now I need your hand in marriage. Yeah, they're not, they get a lot of offers because they got a lot of money. They get a lot of people that want them, but they don't want nobody but you. That's just it. Yeah, they're not, they not going to walk away. They thought they were. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this relationship had, it, it, it ended. It was dead. It was gone. 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 There was no clarity. Gone. Y'all weren't speaking, but they was watching you from afar or you were watching them and they wanted to come in. Well, this is them coming in, but they're going to come in slow, slow. But there's that pinnacle again, man. They see you as the queen of wands. They see you as inspirational, creative, beautiful, a fire starter. They see you as somebody about your, your business, your bread. You know what I mean? They feel bad luck right now, though. They really feel bad luck, and they feel like it's not. They feel left out, in the, but they feel like they're coming out of from being left out in the cold. You got five of pinnacles twice. 
they're going to come out though they, that bad luck is going to cease to exist so right now they feel like the king of pentacles not very loving not very intimate they don't have any inner strength right now they're not feeling anything they don't have the courage to come to you but they're still not walking away and they still see you as their soulmate even though you guys have a disconnect right now you're not connected right now because they feel victory with you. You got six of wands twice from two different tarot decks. Okay? They feel victory with you. They want to do this, but there's no movement. Nobody's moving. Nobody knows which way to go. Nobody knows. But King of Cups, there it is upright. This person loves you. This person loves you. Loves you. <laughs> he got a lot of money too. Shit. Better fuck with that Aquarian. Shit, he looked like he fucking good too. He got a lot of people that want him. Let me tell you that. I feel like it's a lot of people that were trying to get him or her attention. Him or her. They want that person. You could definitely be dealing with a water sign for sure. You either dealing with a water sign or you dealing with a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or you dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio for sure. Because you got a lot of cups in here and you have a lot of pentacles. You got a lot of love and money. <laughs> And nothing a bitch can ask for more. Shit. <laughs> you better ask somebody, Aquarius. You better stop playing. Niggas is waiting around for a motherfucker like this. <laughs> no, I'm playing because I don't know what that injustice is that they did. Like, sometimes if somebody do you dirty, don't matter how much money they got. Don't matter how much fame they got. Don't matter how many houses they got. What kind of car they got. Don't matter none of that shit. How many followers. You don't give a fuck. Somebody did you wrong. They, had a, they seemed like they was wicked to you. They had a bad heart. You cut them off. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. And that's one thing Aquarius will do. They don't give a fuck. All right, so what advice do we have for Aquarius regarding this love situation? What if, oh, that was too many. Or should I take them? I'll take them, why not? All right, so you got the three of coins, so that's come together, okay? Come together with this person, collaborate with this person. Love yourself first, though. Okay, this is the Ace of Cups in reverse. So you got the Ace of Cups twice from two different tarot decks, but it's in reverse this time. So the Spirit is saying love yourself first before you do anything, even with this person, anything even in your victory they want you to love yourself first okay high priestess they want you to use your intuition have you been using it use your intuition you have it use your intuition please or you've been maybe consulting with some type of spiritual advisor about this okay and the knight of I mean, the page of swords this is them again you got it from two different tarot decks watching watching collecting information about you Collecting information about you. Not wanting to walk away. Feeling regret. Feeling sorry. You know what I mean? The, the five of swords in reverse. Let me see. Oh, wow. This is deep. Five of swords is greater self-knowledge, often from mistakes and hardship. Okay, brute force, sometimes with destructive consequences, strength through persistence versus ambition, possible losses through acting purely in your own interest. Mm -hmm. Three of coins. Two of wands in reverse. Relax, meditate and wait. You know what I mean? Meditate and wait. Pray about this. Okay? But you're, you're contemplating to stay or to go. You're contemplating to stay or to go. Okay? You're the hangman reverse. You're the hangman reverse. Okay? You need you need introspection. You need to you need to think. And this person isn't doing anything either. They're coming up as the king of swords in reverse. Oh, obsession. Somebody's obsessed here. I think this person's obsessed with you, Aquarius. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord Jesus. They're obsessed with you. Oh, Lord Jesus. And they're not walking away. You got the Eight of Cups again. From how many different tarot decks did you get that from? Five of Wands. They want to fight. They want to fight. And there go them people around them again. The Empress in reverse. You're just cutting off your love. You're cutting off your love, Aquarius. But you got the star. Y'all both believe. Y'all both have hope, though. Y'all both have hope in this. Let me get you some romance angels, and I'm going to end it. All right, Aquarius. Oh, that flew out. Three. Okay, spirit spoke. Give your relationship a chance. 
okay? Work on your partnership. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right, and this was in reverse. So be guarded, and your soulmate may be right under your nose, which is this person, and calling in your soulmate. Bam. <laughs> Your prayers, affirmations, and visual visualizations help bring you together. Okay? So that's your message, Aquarius. It's right there. Give this person a chance. If you want, that's up to you. Well, you know, I can't tell you what to do. I don't know what they did to you. That's up to you clearly. But it is obvious here, based off these cards, this person is in love with you and they do love you. And they're kind of obsessed with you. Okay? So this there is love here. Okay? I just want you to know that in a lot of money. Okay? And a lot of success in the future if you do choose this person. Okay? All right, Aquarius, I hope this reading helped you. If it did resonate at all, please like this video for me and also leave me a comment. Let me know how it did resonate and, you know, in what way it resonated with you. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And um, I just want to say thank you to you guys. Thanks for watching. And I wish you guys nothing but peace, love, happiness, joy, many blessings, uh, prosperity, um, perfect health, wealth and happiness, and um, that to your families as well. And I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Toodles.